Mr. Another. Come on, Daniel. We finish, teacher. Daniel no ha venido. Teacher, no listen. No listen to you. Uh, teacher, is it break? Teacher, hello. Hey guys, I'm so sorry. I wanted to say that I, here in my town it's raining, but I didn't have time. So I apologize for this inconvenience, but nothing I can control. <laughs> so I, let's see. Um, I don't know who was going to participate. I think it was Rafa. Go ahead, Rafa. I haven't listened to you. Go. Herson. Hey, okay, Rafa. And now, and let it, let it die. A or B. I let her die. Okay, come on. Hello, Mr. Herson. Welcome to the Bats Company. Hi, I am happy to be here. Great. I have here are the list of activities you have to do first. You have to complete with your work. Get to, you have to arrive early. You have to send the daily reports. You have to check out the clients. Okay, I understand. And I have to come on Saturdays. No, you don't have it. You are going to rest on weekend. Okay, Mr. Rafael, perfectly. Thanks. Okay, see Mr. Hudson, see you later. Only that, teacher. Okay, good. That's exactly what I wanted, okay? So thank you, Rafa, and thank you, Hudson, for sharing. That is the idea, okay, that you, that you use the... Um, uh, they have to. Okay, next one. Please, next one. Mr. Daniel. Okay, yes, that's a good, that's a good choice. <laughs> Go ahead, Daniel. Okay, but, but my group is not complete, only, for, only, only with Norma. Okay, that makes it better. <laughs> you can improvise it. Go. Hello, Norma. Welcome to the company. Hi, uh, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. There's okay, you but have, you have to okay. receive the, the training. Okay, where do you have to receive? Uh, you in the company room <laughs> and you have to. What? Um, the next activity is you you have to receive the uniform. Improvise, Norma, improvise. <laughs> okay, uh, where, where uh, I, uh, I'm going to receive the uniform? Okay, you go to the warehouse and talk to, to with Mr. Jose. Okay, thank you. Okay, teacher, it's only... Thank you so much, Daniel, and thank you so much, Norma. I, I knew you were um, basically trying to complete the idea, right? And then how do you say, donde tengo que recibir el uniforme? Where, where? Where, is it, where is the place where I receive the uniform? Yes, and how do I say, donde tengo que recibir el uniforme? Trying to use the, the same structure. Where? Where where I receive reciting the uniform? Mm, what is missing? Where? What where, do we what do we place after where? And if it is a question, what do we use? Where I do. Um. Let's switch it. Oh. Where? Where do? Where, where do, do exactly? Where do, where yes. do I, I receive? Where do I? Receive mm -mm, something uniform. is missing. Where donde tengo que recibir? Where do I? Where do I? 
have to receive. Exactly. Where do I have to receive the Jennifer? Where do I have to receive the Jennifer? Okay, good. Uh, so thank you so much. I want to hear more ideas. Next ones. Thank you, Norma. And thank you, Daniel. Next one, Idalia, your um, conversation with, with your team. Uh, my team was um, Marvin and Cristina. Mm -hmm. Hello. Eh, Va a compartir, Idalia. No, puede usted. Sí, yo lo voy a compartir. Ay, pero no lo puedo girar. Se mira bien. Pero lo tengo que girar. Uh -huh. Ahorita lo comparto mejor. Sin pantalla. Sí, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Ahí está. Bye. Uh, good morning, Marvin. My name is Cristina Martinez. I am team manager. I welcome you and hope you will enjoy working with you. She is Idalia. She is in change of training you not to know everything that you have to do are, are the reception uh, at 2 p.m you have to go to human resource the for department they are going to give to give a manual with the company political mission and vision of uh, it. Um, if you want to continue reading. Um, good morning, Ms. Martinez. I'm grateful for the opportunity. You took a good decision. I have the knowledge that, uh, that will contribute to the teamwork. Um, Um, hi, Marvin. My name is Idalia. Es que el, el teacher, el diálogo estaba para tres personas y nos falta uno. It's okay. Keep reading. Keep reading. I am understanding. So it's okay. Follow. Go ahead. Pero, okay. pero Marvin está, ¿verdad? I think he is. Marvin. Yes, Marvin is there. Okay. Okay, start again then. This is a good this is a good one. I like it. Um so yeah, do it again. He's there. Okay. Christy, start. Yes. Idalia. Luego donde es Idalia. No, otra vez. Empiece que si está Marvin. Ah, bye, okay. Good morning, Marvin. My name is Cristina Martinez. I am the manager. I welcome you and I hope you will enjoy working with you. She is Idalia. She is in chains of training you to know everything that you have to do at the reception. At 2 p.m., you have to go to human reception. Resource department. They are going to give a manual with the company political mission ambition of, of it. Of. Good morning, Miss Martinez. I am grateful for the opportunity to do a good. Uh, Decision. I have the 
that will come to it uh, so the team work hi marvin my name is Sidal hernandez i'm the supervisor i'm going to explain you your responsibilities you have to be punctual you have to check and answer the mail you have to make a report for Ms. martinez you have to contact the clients you have to take calls you have to process checks for suppliers. Okay, thank you. Don't worry. I don't have a problem to me every day. I like to, uh, to, the, to the company. I understand my responsibility. I have a with my side, I need to help with the purpose that I have to do for our manager. Perfect. I'm going to help you. Oh, okay, yes. Thank you so much, Tim. Well done. That is a very uh, good and structured conversation. That tells me that you dedicated some time because it's, you know, it has a nice structure and also it has your ideas, which is what I want to hear. Okay. I want to give you some really quick observations, guys. Um, to say con nosotros, uh, Cristina, you said with use and it is with us, con nosotros, with us. Okay, at the beginning, and instead of saying use is us, come with us, working with us, with us. Okay, I saw something there, politics. We don't say politics, we say policies. In vez de decir para si las políticas de la empresa son policies. Yo se lo voy a mandar. Okay, para decir encargado de in charge of, la pronunciación nada más, in charge of, in charge of, for example, I am in charge of leading this department, I am in charge of taking phone calls, okay, uh, and then I wanted to say something more, let's see, human resources department, 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 para decir agradecido es grateful, grateful, Eh, hay una parte donde dicen el verbo explain, recordémonos que explain requiere decir explain to you, for example, I am going to explain to you, I'm going to explain uh, your duties, I'm going to explain something to you, porque no decimos explain to you directamente, decimos explain to somebody. That, si decimos explain to you, si yo le digo a Idalia, I am going to explain to you, sería un error, le estaré diciendo a ella que le voy, la voy a explicar la forma de hacer de ella. Entonces yo voy a decir, I am going to explain algo a ella. For example, Idalia, I am going to explain uh, these rules to you. I am going to explain your responsibilities to you. But then it's to. El verbo explain mandatoriamente siempre lleva to, al igual que el verbo listen to, y al igual que el verbo say to. Son tres verbos de los más comunes que requieren llevar el to. ¿no? Eso, es, eso es necesario. Lo otro para pronunciar responsibilities, 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 ¿ok? Ahí lo envío ahorita, guys, este, solo me enfoqué en esa parte, lo demás que salió nice, I was really good, me gustaron las ideas, lo hicieron ver uh, me estoy imaginando, I was picturing, you know, the conversation ahí en el floor, ya, yeah, y como que actuando as if, you know, you are having this natural conversation. Así que thank you so much for that and taking the time. Um, okay, one more, the last ones. Thank you, Idalia. Thank you, uh, Cristina, and thank you, Marvin. Okay, so next one. Next one. Guys, next. 
My team teacher. Thank you, JC. Go ahead. I don't know. Elsie and Linda? I'm here. I'm here, Juan Carlos. Okay, and Elsie? She's not here. I think. <clears throat> She's not. I saw. Yeah, I saw her, but I think she disconnected by some reason. Maybe the connectivity issues are affecting. Okay. Linda, go. Tell me, Juan Carlos. Okay. Um, hello, Linda. My name is Carlos. Welcome to the shop. Uh, thanks. Nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. I'm glad to stay here. Okay. Um, Linda, this is, this is Oscar. Hi, nice to meet you, Oscar. My name is Linda Marquez. Hey, nice to meet you, Linda Marquez. Please um, give her list for activities to do. Me? Yeah. I improvise in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, I think that you have to uh, take a training in the human resource with Miss Diaz, please. And after that, you have to you have to um, go to office, distribution office, and please look for Miss uh, Rodriguez, and he is going to give you the ID because it is very important. And the activities that you have to do in the office is um, called the client. Um, you have to receive suppliers every day at 9 a.m. And you have to check the um, storage of the raw material and check that, that everything is ev all right. Okay, sure. And uh, right now, um, can I call you? Uh, if I, I need help? Please. Uh, sorry, can you repeat, please, Juan Carlos? Can I call, can I call you if I, I need help? Yes, of course. Thanks. Okay, nice to meet you and welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Good one. Only yeah, that yeah, you see, that's that's what I want to hear. Thank you so much, guys. That was, you know, exactly what I wanted to hear. So thank you for improvising and thank you for accepting the challenge because I I could hear you uh, improvising. You know, that's that's so cool. Thank you, uh, Linda, and thank you, JC, for that. I wanted to say that when you want to say um plural things in this case uh, you wanted to say these are your responsibilities or these are your duties because I heard this is and then there was a list given so that's just very quick observation okay um, instead of is it was are but then not much to say so um, in overall that was really good so thank you so much good pronunciation guys let's move on um i know it's time for me to check the attendance so i'm gonna check it and then we're going to uh, uh retake okay so let's see number one here today is monday 23rd of august angel narciso present teacher thank you you are attentive that is really good uh christina present teacher thank you daniel present teacher thank you so much elsie She's not here. Okay, Gabriela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Herson. Present. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Jose Rubén. 
Present teacher. JC. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Maria Idalia. Present. Thank you so much. Um, let's see, Maria Julia. Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you. Uh, next one, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafa. Come here, teacher. Thank you, Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you, Raquel. Um, Ray. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. No? Judy. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. I know some of you haven't shared yet, and I don't know if I still have some um, volunteers to share the conversations. Anybody who would like to do it, guys? Maria Julia is here. Okay, thank you so much, Maria Julia. Let me update the attendance. Maria Julia. Maria Julia, okay. Let's see, yes, I updated it. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, um, so no more uh, conversations pending? No? No more ideas to be shared? Let's move on then, okay? Give me a second. Today, uh, guys, we are going to uh, continue with our, um, well, with our manual. And I need you to move to the next page. And this is, uh, we have a chart right there. We have a chart which we are going to read at this moment, okay? In this chart, I know you can see that screen, right? We have some features uh, some and features. some products, okay? And this is um, what? We have three features. We have tablets, we have television and refrigerators, right? I don't know if I have a volunteer to read, would you like to try uh, on pronouncing this uh, chart? Anybody who would like to uh, take this opportunity to, to show if you can uh, pronounce it or try, please? Raise your hand, anybody? Just try, try to say it. Features, products, weight, dimensions and quantity. Okay, thank you, Daniel, that's the attitude. Read the entire chart, please. Okay, uh, listen to your teacher, read the following features of some products, then practice with a partner. Thank you, let's listen uh, to, let's listen to, I'm sorry, Daniel. <laughs> listen to Daniel, he's our teacher, so go ahead. Okay. Um, Future products, weight, tablet, 117, 117 grains. Dimensions, 19.3 centimeters, 13.7 centimeters. There 1.03 centimeters. Quantity 200. Okay, uh, Daniel, I'm going to interrupt you right here, Daniel. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go one by one, so we give more chances. And I appreciate your participation, Daniel. Okay. Um, okay. So good one. We have 170 grams. And then uh, right here, I want to make a quick observation, okay? So in the uh, dimension, when we have, this is what, 19.3, how do you say mm -hmm. centimetros in English? Centimeters. Centimeters. Yes, or you can say centimeters. Centimeters is the best one. Centimeters. Mm -hmm centimeters or cent centimeters as if the T doesn't exist, como si la T no existiera, ¿ok? La, la T es como la T de psicología, que ahí está y no la usamos. Centimeters. Centimeters. Cent centimeters. 
centimeters y esta X la vamos a pronunciar en este escenario. Vamos a decir by, ok, by. by For oh, example, uh, we say uh, 19.3 uh, centimeters by, centimeters by, by 13 centimeters by, by 1.03 centimeters. Exactly, that's the attitude. Yes, that's exactly. And then the quantity is 200, okay? Now that Daniel help us uh, with the first one, Daniel choose one more for the next one, for televisions. You choose, Daniel. Please. An Angel Narciso. Okay. okay. Mr. Cardona, okay. go ahead. Future product uh, television weight one hundred twelve point forty three pound dimension forty one point three uh, inch by twenty six point Seven inch quantity, 100. You rock, Narciso. That is exactly, that is correct. Thank you for the correct pronunciation. Yes. Uh, well, that's it. That's the way we pronounce it. Thank you so much. This uh, here, these letters represent, as Narciso said, what did he say? Um. Pounds, exactly, pounds. And then we have this other here that it means? Inch. Inch, very good. Okay, inches in this case. Good, because it's more than one. Okay, great, pounds and inch. These are measures uh, that we need to take into account. Narciso, choose the next person, please. Mm -hmm. A lady. Mm -hmm. Marlene. Marlene. Lady, Lady Marlene. Go ahead. Okay. And refrigerators. Weight is a uh, 314 pounds. No sé cómo se dice pleca. And 318 pounds. Dimension 48. One eight and quantity 50. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, we just need to make this observation, right, Marlene? We say, does anybody know how to say pleca in English? How do you say that, anybody? I don't know. Okay, nobody from this group knows. It starts with letter S. Do you know? Anybody will look for it. We have two types of plecas. One that is going hacia adelante, one that is going hacia atrás. Forward and backward. But how do you say pleca? Nobody wants to. <laughs> okay, we say slash, slash. So forward slash, backward slash. In this case, it's forward slash. Or simply you say slash, slash, slash. S L A S H, slash. Okay, and as Marlene read it here, this is one eighth, one eighth. Okay, un octavo, one eighth. So this is 48 and 48 and an eight, because, okay? Okay, and then 50. You can say 50 or 50, you decide. I hear people saying 50 and it sounds good for me. So 50, 50 and 50, either, either pronunciation is okay. And then Marlene, this one is refrigerator, 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 like 
refrigerate, refrigerate. This sound, this T is very explosive. The T of refrigerator is very explosive. Refrigerator, refrigerator. Like this is, this sounds is the same when you say cultura, culture, ch, refrigerator, it's the same sound, okay? So you want to say like that, refrigerator, refrigerator, so practice. Quiero que se tomen el tiempo y esos números hay que repasarlos un par de veces, okay? Así que vamos, we're going to practice y lo leen al menos two times each one. Primero su partner lo escucha y se lo lee en, en vice versa, okay? This is for you to practice numbers and dimensions and quantity and weight. Before we go and practice in pairs, do you have any question about pronunciation? ¿Alguna pregunta? Are we okay with the pronunciation? El octavo, teacher. One, one eighth. Aquí usamos los números. ¿Qué okay, número? One eighth inch. One, exactly. One eighth inch. 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 Yes. One. Okay, thank you. This is the same number like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, eighth. So these are the ordinal numbers. We say one eighth. That is one un octavo. Like that's those are the numbers that we're using here. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's see. How do you say un cuarto? How do you say un cuarto? One, one fourth. One fourth. Inch. Inch. <laughs> yes, yes, it was, we have this like the, the two, uh, I think those are like, um, what do you say, a quotation mark, I think, yes, it's like those little uh, things right there. So that is a representation of inch, as you said, Rafa. So in this case, it's uh, 48 and, and, and one eight inch yes that's that's exact pronunciation okay let's go ahead and practice in pairs read the numbers practice the numbers read it like once again and then we're going to choose maybe one or two to read it for the entire class okay so take advantage of the time and keep practicing this chart pronunciation okay i'm gonna give you maybe five minutes but then if it's too much or, or if it's too little guys Keep practicing, that's necessary. Here we go. We're gonna have maybe groups of three. No, maybe, let me, pairs. I think pairs is okay. Yes, pairs. If by any chance there are three, take turns, okay? Here we go. Linda, do you have problems with your connectivity? Hello? Hello, Linda. Hello. Hola, hola. Hey, Linda. <laughs> what happened? The, the, the Wi-Fi is, is bad. The Wi-Fi connectivity is bad. I, I am sorry to hear that. I'm going to move you to one room, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's see. Linda with uh, is going to practice with uh, your um, colleague, I think. 
She is on room number five. Yes, here we go. Okay. Bye. Bye. For a bye. Bye. For it, bye. 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 Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. 100. Yeah. Okay. 100. Uh, mm -hmm. 48. Ah, 48. Uh, refrigerator. 300. 40. Mm -hmm. ah, correct. Uh, black. Um, 40. Fourteen. Um, three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Eighteen. 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 No, eighty. Eighteen. 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 Eighteen.
Yes. Teacher, ¿cómo es? How is... Exactly, like that. Backward and forward. Si solo dice slash, nada más se refiere a la que va hacia adelante, que es forward slash. Pero muchas veces para especificar es que dice forward o backward slash. Si solo se dice slash, no, no se sobreentiende que es la que va hacia adelante. La Pero, normal. La una normal, slash, slash. Pero si es, quiere especificar, porque dentro de esa eh, descripción o lo que sea, address, hay backward, entonces hay que decir, ¿verdad? forward slash, forward slash, and then if in any case there is another one that is, you know, backward. But generally we only say slash. Okay. No, 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 no complicado. No easy, right? Marlene is very, very intelligent, you know. En Italia. Yes. <laughs> I know you, you are, but you just you're pulling my leg, right? Yes. Okay. Hey, um, okay. well, I'm gonna leave you guys here for one more minute because the other people are practicing. There are some who are in groups of three, they're taking their time. So I know you already okay. finished, but uh, I'm gonna give you one more minute. Keep talking about anything you want as long as you speak English, it's okay. Okay, no okay. Spanish. I know okay. Ma Maria Idale, I know she speaks English. I can, I can tell that because I can hear her speaking and Marlene, you do, so speak English. Yeah, okay, of course. Good. All right. Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for practicing. Um, sometimes when we read numbers, sometimes we, um, I don't know, we have this challenge in reading um, by tens or maybe by ones, but the more we practice, the easier it becomes. So thank you so much for practicing, especially when we have to use, um, you know, measures as well. In this case, we have centimeters, we have pounds, we have uh, inches. So all those things, you know, makes it a little bit more difficult. However, I could hear most of you speaking and practicing, which is something I like. Before I move on, before we move on, is there any question in regards um, to this chart? Are we okay with this? I heard um, some 
maybe DAOs in how to pronounce refrigeradoras, we say refrigerators. Refrigerators is like refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator. Uh, okay, and then we have features, refrigerators and, and the features, the same sound like, you know, it's, it's found here. Guys, uh, if you don't have any other, any other question, we have these general uh, questions right here. Um, so maybe we can just go ahead and answer what, whatever comes to your mind. Let's see, can one person install all the televisions oneself? What do you think? Can one person install all the televisions oneself? It depends on factor, many factors. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I like the, that answer. Tell me why. This, the distance, the place, uh, is only one person is okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. If, if, if the the how say the the tools of your or you can use can lo, las cosas lo, cómo lo puedan utilizar. ¿Cómo, cómo se dice? Okay. ¿Cómo se dice en eh, 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 ¿Cómo se dicen las herramientas o algo que puede sure. utilizar una, car una carretilla o un... oh, algo así? That would be the equipment, maybe. The equipment. equipment. Because the tools, equipment. yeah, all the uh, equipment, equipment. Uh -huh. But the television is only, only 100 pictures. Is, is it 100? I thought it was... Oh yeah, um, <laughs> you, you, you mark them the refrigerator. <laughs> no, the refrigerator, oh, mi, minimum two people, minimum two people for move okay. the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. the television, one person, no problem. One no. Person. Think one yeah. person, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. It's, it, it's not, it's heavy, but, but not too, too big. Yes, it, it okay. goes 41, 41 inches is is like is how say is one person in how how much time all day all okay. day all day <laughs> one, one television for day <laughs> one television <laughs> one television for 10 minutes <laughs> oh my god but look at the look at the weight look it's, at the it's weight heavy. I know, it's, I know. It's heavy. I know. It's, it's heavy. It's yeah, it's heavy. Very, it's very heavy. I mean, I think, well, I disagree, but I know you're strong. <laughs> you're Samsung, and that's why. <laughs> okay. But then who else think or who else agrees with Daniel or who disagrees? I disagree. Can you explain a little bit more? <laughs> Hmm. Because it's it's tired. It's tiring. Yes. Because it's one hundred television for one hundred twelve pounds is mm -hmm. very much. I think. Daniel, I think Daniel is picturing driving his forklift. I think, huh, Daniel? Got you. <laughs> okay. Wow. But in the in 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 not not all time move <laughs> by the forklift. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's it's, it's a it's a stuff delicate. Exactly, okay. it's very delicate. delicate. It's very it's deli delicate. You can say fra exactly delicate, fragile, 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 fragile or delicate. Yes, delicate. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, I like that word, delicate. It's very delicate. delicate. Yeah, yeah. You can break them, right? Um. Okay, um, so how about guys, any volunteer to, to talk about number two, where can you store 50 refrigerators? Where? Any volunteers? What comes to your mind? This is a free answer, free question. In my case, teacher, uh, we have a warehouse, no problem. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. yeah, because it's 50, right? No, you cannot, you cannot do it at home. It's 50. I think they are. Uh, in, the, my, in my home, in my home, only me one. Only, only one in the, in the, in the kitchen. 
maybe it's a toy. <laughs> yeah, maybe if there were toys, yes, right? And okay. the 49, and the 49 for sale. Exactly. Yes, no problem. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So in this case, I agree with you too, guys. Uh, what else do you think, guys? Do you agree with Marlene and, and Daniel that we can uh, store them on a warehouse? Yes. Or do you have any other idea? What would you do in your case? Raise your hand, please. Agree, disagree. Agree. 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 With you Daniel. agree. Okay. Yes. Warehouse. No other options. Okay. And what about number three? Can you store the tablets on shelves? Yes, no, why? Teacher, I, I think that I can because it's a delicate product. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I like that. I like that answer. And then, then where um, can it be a good place to keep them or to store tablets according to your opinion? If we show uh, how one or two uh, rats, no problem. But okay. more, more three, four is to how say to to far, to too high, too high, too high. It's mm -hmm. too high. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a it's, it's, it's the probability is down. The 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 computer the tablet is down okay but one one or two racks no problem yes one I or think. two racks yes okay i think mm -hmm. i like that because yeah we don't want to risk right the, these uh, devices if, if one or two racks as you said it's it's okay okay yeah i agree with that and then i wanted to say Idalia, i don't know who said that if uh the boxes or the the, the packaging, you know, it's okay. That can protect them as well. Sometimes if you, if you put them into cases or the boxes are well protected, it can be an option as well. But then uh, without this protection, then it makes it more risky and they can, you know, be affected in any way. Um, anybody else guys, maybe somebody who hasn't said anything and would like to participate, raise your hand, please and answer these three questions. This is our, these are three questions. Any answer, whatever you wanna say, it's okay. This is your opinion. Opinions, guys? Voy a hacer algo, porque yo veo que se me quedan callado bastante. No sé si es porque está un poquito confuso, no tienen que decir, no quieren participar. What's going on? Quiero escucharles. Tienen, tienen, es lunes, son las 9 y 37. What's the point? ¿Se entienden lo que estamos haciendo? Aquí estamos, prácticamente estamos... Eh, respuestas, lo que usted quiera decir si quiere decir que, que puede hasta tirar la, las refrigeradoras en el río, pues la verdad es su, su idea, ¿verdad? It's ok Pero, si solo es... Rafael How quiet are you to... Sí, Rafa it's been very quiet, JC Rey ahí está observando I don't know uh, Gerson, it's, I don't know if Gerson Are you there, Gerson? What happened? Ahí está, ok. Marvin ya se durmió y Dalia. Uh, what's going on? I mean, uh, talk you can to do us. Si sí, me dicen que pueden incluso uh, store uh, 1000 television yourself, pues yo le voy a creer. Pero talk to me. Que okay, that's the idea. Ok, uh, tenemos uh, 20 minutes y vamos a hablar de un tema que seguramente, porque es muy fácil, les, les parece que, ¿verdad? pero miren este tema, look at this topic, 
We are going to review, porque eso ya lo vimos previously. <laughs> Así que, um, if you think this is too easy, ask more questions, okay? Challenge yourself in how, in how you can use this structure. How to use can for information and possibility. Simple stuff, I know. If you want to ask for information, we need a WH word. We need it because we need to ask or we need more information, right? Look at this example. I need a volunteer to read. Alguien que para que no se duerma, quiero ver que no. Vaya, este, no se duerma, no se duerma. Don't fall asleep. A ver, ¿quién se está durmiendo? Go ahead, please. Wake read. Up, wake up. How to read. use can for information possibility. Can for information, where can you, I, he, she, we, they stack all the new problems? When can the same you, I, he, she, we, they stack all the new products? Can for possibility, can you, I, he, she, we, they, they, sorry, stack at the new products? Okay, thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about. So we have can for information and for possibility. Okay, stack, it's a verb that we already study, I think, but in a different way. Who remembers how to say a pilar in another way that is not a stack? File. Oh, file up, good. Yes, that's exactly. So stack is similar. Okay, now, uh, before we move on, I want you to give me one example on your own using can for information and one example on your own on the chat or maybe open your mic for possibility following these two ideas. You don't want to write, no problem. Open your mic and speak. If you wanna write, go ahead and use the chat and send your ideas right there. Let's say two minutes for this. Si alguien tiene duda de cómo funciona la fórmula, no, don't hesitate, you know, to ask, pregunte. Si it's not a sin, no es un pecado, okay? It's okay. Where can I park in the car? Okay, imagine you are um, arriving at a mall, like, uh, I don't know, a uh, Plaza Mundo, La Rambia, I don't know, wherever you guys go, and you see the security guard and you say, hey, uh, excuse me, where can I park my car? Uh -huh. okay. okay, I like it. What else? What about for possibility, Daniel? Another possibility, can I park the car here? <laughs> okay, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, that's a possibility, right? Nice. Other can ideas? I, mm -hmm. Can I pay the bill here? Can I pay the bill here? Yes. You are at the, um, what do you call these places? Uh, Puntos Express, okay. right? <laughs> can I? Yeah. I don't use it. I don't use it Point Express, Point Express because he sent like the pay to the other company. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I talk by experience because wow. I pay in another in the another month. He recharged me. Uh, how say recargo? Late yeah. fees. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Late fees recargo por pago tarde. Uh -huh. oh. And I don't wait. I don't use it. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I I I prefer I prefer go to the bank. Or go to the office or cell phone uh, electricity distribution. Uh -huh. 
no problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Well, thanks for sharing. That's to my pocket, as they say. Okay, I wanted to say it's late payment fee. I sent it to the chat in case you want to see a cargo por pago tardío. Okay, I didn't know that, Daniel, but thank you so much. I will take it, you know, for, for me. I I actually, I have never had problems because I usually I, use this uh, service, I, but I, I... I'm talking about... Um, I'll say five years ago. Okay. Yes. Because I, I think this a better, uh, how say, mejoraron servicio, better service. They have improved. Improved. Eh? They, yeah. They, because, uh, but in my experience, I don't use it. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, but okay. you, you're right because. Uh, sometimes, you know, they, I mean, they need to report it, right? They need to report it to the financial institution and maybe that takes time. Okay. But as you okay. said, they might have improved a little bit and, you know, because, okay, good. Thank you for sharing, Daniel. I, I like it. Let's read, okay. mm -hmm. let's read the examples we have here. Maria Idalia says, can, when can I talk with your boss? When can I talk with your boss? Yes. Where can I buy refrigerators? Yes. Ruben, what about the other ones? Where can we eat Mexican food? Or go to Los Caminitos. I don't, I don't remember the name of that place. It's been a while. Um, Los Cochinitos, I don't remember. Where can I buy, where can we eat Mexican food? Hmm. Where can we go to on the week? Okay, where can we go on the weekend? Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. What else? What else, guys? Some of you haven't said anything. Come on, wake up. Say something. When can you do it? Okay, I like it. When can you do it? I can do it on blah, blah, blah. Okay, what else? What can I eat today? What can I eat today? Okay. What can you do for me today? What can you offer me? Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Some of you haven't said anything. Come on, open your mic. Don't be afraid. Okay. Um, now I want you to please send me one possibility on the chat or open your mic. I heard only Daniel, but I want to hear everybody if it's if it's possible for possibility. Mm -hmm. Can you, can I, can she, can they, can we, can we go out tonight? There's a slight possibility that she or he says, yes. Can you can review? Can we go to the beach on the weekend? You say, can we go to the beach on the weekend? Can you give me $5? Can you lend me $5? Can you review the class, please? Can you help me? Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. Give me more examples. Okay, can, can you, can I, can we, can they, can she? What else? Hay alguien en esta clase que tenga alguna duda de cómo usamos can o la estructura, guys? Pregunta, uh, oración afirmativa o negativa. ¿Estamos claros con esa parte? Yes. Ok, bueno. Let's do something. Let's go ahead and finish this, this page. It's easy, but we need to, what? Write a question, ok? We have here, we have six answers. Let's write one question. Can she send the letter tomorrow? Yes, Cristina, I like it. So let's create five, I'm sorry, six questions here. Answers, can you store them in the back room? Okay, so what's a possible question for this? Take some time, please. Five minutes. Where can I store the boxes? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
That's okay, Marvin. So five minutes, write the questions, please. Hey, Daniel, is that you on that picture? Ah, okay. Yes, someone gave me, someone, someone gave me a picture on the workplace, on my workplace. Okay, yeah, someone <laughs> took a picture but, of you. But I don't use helmet. You don't use helmet, come on, you no, should use. No, I is don't it, use helmet. It's not an obligation? Um, no. No, I'm only I'm um, I have I have to use uh, how say earphones. Okay, earphones. Uh, oh, earphones, earphones, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and glass security glass. Okay. And best uh, how say reflective best. Reflective best. Okay. Reflective oh yeah. Best. Yes, in 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 shoes, I'll say shoes with security shoes. Security uh, shoes, the, yeah. The shoes how uh, metallic too. Uh, so how? Yeah, cube. Cool. Yeah. Cube. Cool. Uh huh. Uh, cube cool metallic. Yes. yes. Metallic. This is oh. this is this is my this is my EPP e e equipment protection personal. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Equip, equip, equipment protection personal. Equipment mm. protection personal. So equipment pro personal protection. Exactly. That's the one. E equipment personal protection. Exactly. PPP. Yes. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Nice. So let me try to change it. So it's, then it's not a helmet, it's a hat, you see? And the <laughs> <laughs> I like the CPTO one. When, when I use when I use the fork, please, in the ramp. Mm -hmm. I use uh, I use uh, how say hat for this a... from from block for block the sun to block the sunshine to block to block the sunshine yes uh, okay mm -hmm. nice so then this is another you <laughs> Plus, well okay I um, I would love to learn how to how to drive this um, type of um, I don't know, how can I say it? Maybe tracks or I don't know how they call them. But yeah, it looks interesting. I, ha I have seen some of them who uh, have a gas in here. Uh, I don't know how to- they... Yes, they, 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 uh, how many versions? Uh, oh. the, the, the forklift that I use don't have, don't have use uh, gas. Oh, okay. Uh, the, 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 the gas this is propane propane gas this exactly is... uh -huh. exactly yes. maybe you can share a picture of you when you are doing that sometimes yeah let me let me let me search mm -hmm. <laughs> sure okay uh, thank you for sharing so for those who didn't know daniel is uh, daniel works like this in the airport right that's why i remember uh, this uh job it must be interesting, I think. Okay, uh, guys, we have some time and I would like to know which one or what did you write for number one? Any volunteer? Linda, what do you have, Linda, for number one? For number one, mm -hmm. uh, where can you store the boxes? You can store them in the back room. Yes, I like that one. Anything different? Let's see, uh, Cristina, what do you have for number one? Hello? Yes, what do you have for number one? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. um, where I the answer of the, the question. Both. Uh, where I can store them. You can store them in the back room. Where can I can I store them? Okay. Yeah, it's not recommended to say them in the question because you have to specify what is that then. In the case, you can say it can be boxes, they can be televisions, they can be any type of equipment, okay? Or so that, that'll be better product. Okay. So, but it's okay. Uh, number two. Marvin, what do you have for number two? Where can she she sing sing count the four? Hmm. Look at this, Marvin. If we have a just I just she can, then it'll be better if we ask a close-ended question. For example. Can she, and then you say the rest. Can we try that way without using a WH word? Any other or anybody who has a different version, please? Can she see? Sign. Sign. Yes. Can she sign, okay. Can she sign the document or something like that? Yes, we can say that. What about number three? Uh, number three? Ruben, number three? Or Rafa, number three? Can we move all the television? Yes. Can we move all the television? Okay, I like it. Yes. No, we can't. We can't move all television. All right. What about number four? Number four, Christina. What do you have? Uh, when can when can they fill up the boxes? They like can it. fill up the boxes tomorrow. Okay. Yes. I like the WH word when because it's tomorrow. Uh, when um. Can they pile, pile up, pile, pile up. Pile up. up? Exactly. Num number five, Narciso, what do you have for number five? Number five. Okay. Can I store the lighting car on a water house? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say that. Where? However, in this case, because it doesn't say yes, you can, it doesn't say uh, the short answer, I think, and I suggest using a WH word at the beginning. Where can I eat in night cars? Okay, yep, yep. Any Anything else? Narciso, would you like to modify? Yes, teacher. Um, you can modify that one, Narciso, by using a WH word at the beginning. So, where can I store can the night? Uh -huh, can, exactly. can, I, can I store? Mm -hmm. Can the I night. store the night card? Okay, yes, where can I, I store the the night card. Exactly. That that's one is better. Where can I store the night cards on? Yes. And the last one, guys. Yes, I yes, I can. What would be the, the best question? What is the best question for this? Give me the answer for number six. Can you give you information? 
Okay, yes, I like it. Can you give me information for the product? Yes. Okay, thank you so much, guys. We have finished this part and let's see. Let me let me go ahead and check the attendance because we only have two minutes left. Okay, and then let's see. Number one on the list, Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you, Elsie. She connected it at the beginning, but then she left. Something might have happened to her. Next one, Gabriela Guadalupe. Gabi? Present teacher. Gabi, don't fall asleep. Hmm. Herson. Present. Thank you, Herson. Uh, then Jose Miguel, I think he didn't make it. Um, Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you so much, JC. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda, Maria, Idalia. Present. Thank you, Maria, Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlene. Present. Marvin. Norma. Hi, present teacher. Thank you, Rafa. Present teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you, Ray. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara and Judy. Okay, guys, it's been a pleasure once again. I really appreciate your participation. Keep on doing the activities and see you tomorrow. So now we can say good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.